Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here and I wanna thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. This is going to be episode two of our backyard makeover series and we have quite a bit to tackle today like planting some seeds. I gotta update y'all on the garden beds and also the hydro seeding that we got done in last week's episode and so much more. So if you'd like to see all these things, then just stay tuned. Or is it because you can't forget Okay, so now that my to-do list is done and complete and y'all see everything that we are trying to tackle, I want to thank today's sponsor, All Black. All Black is the largest and first streaming service that has content featured and brought to you by Black creators, Black actors, Black directors, Black movies, Black TV shows. It's just all, all Black and I'm so here for it. I'm definitely a person who loves to support black owned businesses and black movies, black arts. And if you are too, I definitely think you should check them out. They have some great movies and great TV shows on their platform and it's ad free. Who loves that? I know I do. And it's also super duper affordable coming in at only $5.99 a month. And they have so many like new shows that are coming on there like every month. So you will literally never get bored. I wanna show y'all one of my favorite movies that I've watched recently. Let me flip y'all around. Okay y'all, so this is what the app looks like when you open it up. Again, it's called All Black. And literally I just downloaded this from the Google App Store and to my Roku TV, but it's also available on so many other platforms as well, like your Amazon Fire Sticks, or if you have Apple TV, you can download it to your iPhone, literally everything. But this is the movie right here that I watched recently. And it was so good. It's called Karen, as you can see. And basically it's about this woman who is a Karen. If you know what that is, then you know. And she's pretty much terrorizing this new young black couple that moves into the neighborhood. She's acting like she's neighborhood watch and trying to get them caught up. It's messy, but it's so good. But they have so many other things on here as well. One show that I'm keeping my eye on is this one right here called A La Carte and it's produced and directed by our girl Megan Good. It premieres on May 12th, so I have my calendar set for this. I am super duper, super duper excited and like I said, they have new stuff coming here all the time and there are so many different options. Like you will not get bored on All Black. So you guys, stream where you are celebrated all day, all night, and try All Black for free for 30 days by going to allblack.tv slash youngladybusiness and use my code youngladybusiness. I really think you guys are going to love all of the great content they have over there. So go ahead and support, click on that link, check it out, and then let me know down in the comments what you think of the movie, Karen. <laughs> Let's go ahead, I'm gonna change, and let's head outside so that we can begin working on this outdoor area. All right, good morning everybody. So Marcus is out here right now, just pulling up these really beautiful daisy flea veins, you guys. These are daisy flea vein. They are absolutely gorgeous. And so they're technically a weed, but they grow very aggressively and we are gonna put a few of these around the mailbox and just like in the yard because I think they're like a very dainty flower so Marcus is um shoveling out a few of them before we cut the grass right here and then you guys will see what I do with them later so these are a few that we have salvaged so far oh they're so beautiful we were so young I'm basically gonna be starting a daisy flea garden. It's, I have this little alcove right here and I never knew what to do with it, but now I've gotten the idea to plant wildflowers here, to plant wildflowers down there at that end, and maybe over here on this end of the house and some over here too. But for now, what I'm gonna do is just place all the daisy flea veins right here and then later I will transplant a few of them down by the mailbox. So let's go ahead and get started on that now.
this is what it's looking like right now. I planted as many of them as I can. These ones were just like a little too weak and a little too limp, unfortunately, but they're so gorgeous. So I'm hoping the ones that I've planted here will thrive in this little garden that I've created. And I think I'm going to add some sunflower seeds over here and see how those do. These are mammoth gray stripes. I think I'm gonna pop a few of those over here because I can see that being really pretty. And I think I'm also going to add just some wildflowers that I got from Sunday. So, wildflower, some garden seed. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do one of these and then like two of these just to get this area really flourishing. I think that'll be super duper pretty. So let's go ahead and plant these now. So now we are gonna go ahead and work on the little garden bed area. I'm gonna clean this out first because <laughs> it's just not cute. And then I am going to rake out this area a bit. As you can see, there's a tree right overhead. So it gets a pretty good amount of shade, but in the morning, this area gets a whole, whole lot of sunlight. So I'm going to just rake it out a little bit, plant some seeds here, and then finally water it. I just finished planting the little garden right here. It looks so magical in the sunlight. And I am also currently <sighs> trying to water the lawn with the sprinkler. I'm really excited to report that some of the hydro seeding has come up. So that's really great 
down here y'all i planted wildflower seeds i planted um what's this sunflower seeds and then i planted these and then i planted these two big bags of fast blooming wildflower mix now these say they only take 80 days until the first bloom so here's hoping once i'm done or once i move the sprinkler up a little bit i'm gonna put some flower food on there look at my clothes y'all these have officially become my garden shoes but yeah i'm going to put some of this on there and that'll be pretty much it this is how these are doing a few of them have fallen down. They're kind of looking a little sad right now. Like they're like, what's happening? But we'll see if it actually works or not because I hope it does. Because they're just so pretty. All right, guys, now it's time to do a little bit of shopping. You guys know that all the stores right now have out like all the summer patio stuff. So definitely hit it up now so you can like get the stuff you want and it won't be picked over by the time like the end of May and um, June and July get here. So you guys saw those citronella tea lights that I picked up. I think those are going to be perfect for the wedding to like repel all those mosquitoes and everything. They were only like 88 cents for six tea lights. So I thought that was a really great deal. And I also got little tin buckets for citronella candles to go around the space during the wedding. I also checked out Walmart's gardening center they didn't have too too much but the stuff they did have was affordable and nice i'm thinking eventually i'll pick up some ferns i actually purchased these vines y'all will see that a little bit later and of course my baby marshmallow is there with me okay these are the same prices as they are at home depot I do love these type of trees, and I actually do want two of them. I think they're stunning, stunning, stunning. But I also love the little minis. That's like, a pretty expensive these days, which may have even how cute is that? And so next we began to check out like all the lighting and stuff and these were so perfect for the wedding because we're going for that dreamy magical enchanting vibe so they had like these curtain lights and then even better than these there were micro lights and you guys you hang these in the trees and they're solar powered which is perfect we don't have to plug anything up or worry about extra cords so it'll look so seamless and magical in the trees we also picked up a few of these like little steak lights because we don't want people to fall over and no, you know, just see, be able to see where they're going because it's going to be pretty dark outside. And now we're at the Home Depot. Also here, the selection wasn't really the best. So I think I'm going to have to wait to get the majority of my flowers during like the end of May, early June. These 
are the most magical. Okay, I'm not even like a bird person. But when I tell you these is like magical. These are so cute, baby, don't you think? Oh, when it comes with a little chain. Oh my gosh, I have to get at least one. I also like this little tiny one. Oh. Turn. Okay guys, so now I wanna give y'all an update on everything that we planted. I have some good news. Literally almost everything is sprouting. So let's start over here in this area. Um, as y'all can see, the daisy flea veins, they are not prospering. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull these up. They're all looking pretty dead. Some of them are green. But for the most part, a lot of them look really tragic. Nothing like how they looked originally. So I'm gonna pull those up. But guys, look, some little seeds are forming here. I think these might be the sunflowers that I planted. Um, something is eating them. If you can see some of the leaves look chopped. Something is eating a lot of the stuff that I planted. Not just these, but everywhere else too. And some different types are popping up here. So that is wonderful, but these daisy flea beans, I'm just gonna pull them out. This one is like actually kind of in there. Oh my goodness, they're like actually in the dirt. I wonder if it's gonna disrupt. <sighs> I wonder if it's gonna disrupt my new babies that are growing, if I just like yank them out. Let me see if this one will come up easily. Uh, uh, oh, okay, yeah, that one came up pretty easily. Okay, but still, I don't want to disrupt like the new baby. So I might just cut these back a bit so I don't have to like do too much, but that's the update here. The next update is our marvelous garden bed. You guys see all these little green things? Those are the wildflower seeds that I planted, um, the burpee ones, because remember I put a lot here in this area and a lot on this side. They have all, for the most part, come up and it's so exciting. I have something, again, is like digging holes and making its way. Just making itself too comfortable, y'all. So I'm like, what can a girl do? Earlier, I saw a squirrel perched up here. And I'm like, this is supposed to be for the birds. I'm not sure if it's the birds or the squirrels at this point that are like eating all my seeds and stuff. And then we also got these stones. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm going to make like a little pathway. So let's go ahead and tackle that now and then I'll show y'all what the grass is looking like in the backyard. Okay, y'all, so next update. The birds have been kind of relentless. Honestly, they just will not stop terrorizing. So like some mornings I'll come out and find things are toppled over like this, for example. Um, a lot of these seeds up here are my zinnia. So I do see some growth finally. But some of these babies back here are struggling like i don't really see anything from the ones back here this one just fell over so the seeds very well could have fell, fell out and then the ones down here are like all our vegetables and stuff and i thought this was showing growth but and i think these are the green beans but they just look terrible you guys i think i'm gonna have to start over with these because the birds just won't stop the birds just won't stop like look they just won't stop I can be happy about the growth in these. So that's a win. Another L that I've taken so far is I had put like all the seeds within this bag, right? Oh my gosh, where this is a new thing of sunflower seeds. Okay, I had put it all in there and unfortunately I had left it open instead of zipping it up and it's been raining a bit. So like all my leftover seeds I've had, things that I haven't used yet, guess what? 
they are all <laughs> wet 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 so y'all let me know i'm guessing that you know even if i do let these out to dry that most likely the seeds just won't grow now because they've been wet but if i'm wrong please let me know down in the comments i'm not gonna get rid of them right now i'm just gonna let them sit out and dry for a bit but a lot of the cottage garden ones which are the ones i was gonna put in our back flower bed that we're building they're all ruined y'all so let me know down in the comments if they can be salvaged or not. A new thing of Cosmos that I bought off Amazon. I wanted these to go up along the fence line. I just gotta be more careful, y'all. We have Okay, y'all, do you guys see this? It's such a gloomy day, I wish y'all could see it when it's like super sunny and bright. But we have grass, guys. I'm gonna show y'all the update before this, but it kind of looks the same. So, we do have a few little patchy areas that like nothing is really growing too much. There's just a few, like here, for example, <laughs> there's a few of them over here. If you guys remember this line right here, this is like our fence line. So the fence is gonna go right here. So don't worry about the stuff on that side that's not our property and we didn't have hydro seating done anywhere that wasn't our property so all along the fence line it is a little sparse but that's okay because we're gonna be doing um like hydrangeas going all the way down it's gonna be so pretty but Marcus and I were out here the other day and we were talking about like where we want the ceremony to be now because a little patchy a little patchy because um now that we came out here during the ceremony time anyways the ceremony is going to start at six and we were like okay it's actually really dark underneath these trees even though the sun is still out and bright at six like underneath the trees and here in the woods it's kind of dark so let me show y'all originally where we were going to have the ceremony Originally, we were gonna do it right back here in this cut, like this little alcove. Y'all remember that? And like right here in the middle was going to be the aisle, the arch down there, chairs on this side, chairs on that side. Um, and it's just a little dark. It's a gloomy day, so you guys, it's not like a most accurate picture, but that was like the whole little area that we were going to get married in. Now, we are thinking that we are going to do this area instead. So, let me back up as much as possible. Now we're thinking we're gonna do this area, which is actually like right behind the house. It's more of a central area, whereas that one's like in between the trees through the magnolias. This is just like right here. So again, we'd have the arch in the middle right here. This would be the aisle and then chairs on both sides again like that. I do love the idea of getting married in between the magnolias, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to talk to my photographer and see if this space would be okay, even though it is a little dark. This area, the sun is shining like right from this way, around that 6, 6.30 time. So it looks really, really pretty. So we're thinking this is gonna be the area versus that little area um so what i'm thinking is now y'all if this is gonna be the area i'm gonna put up like a little easel right here it says welcome like the flowers and stuff and have like the petal toss stuff and all the programs and things right here and then maybe right here next to it we'll have like a little water station and i'm gonna have like popsicles and oh it's just gonna be so awesome i'll save all those extra details for the wedding vlog but i did want to give y'all a little update so the grass back here, it's not growing in the best either. What we're gonna do is probably re, like, dig it up a little bit and plant some seeds down. The hydro seeding people, they left us so many seeds for situations like this. So the instructions that they gave us was just to rake up the ground a little bit, throw seeds down, and then this time put hay on top because the seed isn't wrapped in that like bluish stuff that they like the fertilizer and all that good stuff that you know it was when they blew it 
So yeah, this area, it needs to get full and lush because this might be, it might be the ceremony area. So yeah, y'all, that's the little grass update. You know, we had so many people come out here and so many people kept telling us like, you'll never get grass to grow underneath these trees. You'll never be able to do it. And I'm so happy that Marcus and I, we finally found a company who was able to like make our dreams come true. And like, you know, cause I've seen grass grow under trees. I'm sure y'all have too. So just for like people to try to shut you down and try to say, oh, it'll never happen. Well, look now, we have grass growing under the trees, just like how I want it. And as the months roll by, it's gonna get even more fuller and even more beautiful. This also could be a possible ceremony area. But as of right now, this is where like the bar and our outhouse is going to be. So, y'all, the possibilities back here are endless and I'm so excited. Marcus has been doing a great job getting out here and watering the lawn, so I owe a lot of that to him. I've honestly done it maybe only three times and he's really been doing a good job of getting out here and doing it for us. So, as things begin to like grow and get fuller, I'll give y'all more updates and stuff. Anyways, you guys saw I got these little vines, let's see what they're called. Venka vine, yeah, Venka vine. They're really, really pretty, and the reason I got these is because I was experimenting with the weed right here, but I want something to trail down over our window boxes because it's gonna make it look even more magical. So that's the vibe that I'm going for with these. I don't know if we'll get to plant these in today's video or not. Actually, we might as well. I might as well go ahead and do it now. Let's see. I got a whole tray's worth. So it'll be something like that. Obviously it'll be more so in the dirt. Yeah, it'll be something like that. Hey y'all, so it started to rain and it's just so dreary and like gloomy outside. So I'm gonna save like planting the vines for another day, especially when I have more flowers to like complete the look. I think that'll be good. But let's really quickly end off the video, go over our outdoor makeover checklist for this video. And like this week, these were like all the goals that I had. So we were able to plant all of our seeds, except for the ones that got wet. <laughs> So that's a check. Add soil to the flower bed. We did that. Um, plant flowers in the window boxes. We did not get to do that. Water grass seeds. We did that. And you guys see the grass is flourishing. Find daisy flea veins and plant it, y'all. We did that. But the daisy flea veins, they just don't prosper. So now y'all know if you were thinking about doing it too. Don't even, don't even bother, okay? And then upgrade or refresh the porch we did not get to do that either so these are some tasks that we will have to do later on um but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and just like an update on how things are going in the backyard for the wedding i'm really really excited about everything and i think um I just think, I just know it's going to look so great as the months continue rolling on. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're new here and you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. Or if you're a subby and you've made it all the way to the end, thank you so much as well. We are on the road now to 150,000 subscribers. I am claiming it. I haven't set a goal in a really long time, but let's start setting these goals. Like let's get up to 150. Right now I think we're at 134, so I definitely know we can do it. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe and also comment if they like my type of videos, like home decor, makeovers, cleaning, decorating, and then a few day in my life videos sprinkled in between. I have some really exciting things coming for you guys, so I can't wait to share the news with y'all as I enter this next journey in my life. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.